Rutledge, registered dietitian. Welcome to my video blog. The subject of today's blog is how to make a healthy, tasty vinaigrette for your salad. So the basis of a good vinaigrette is always oil with some vinegar and some seasonings. You can use any type of oil that you really want and that you enjoy. Uh, when it comes to the vinegars, you can use, again, any kind of vinegar that you prefer. You can even use things that are a little acidic, such as juices from citrus, like limes and lemons. For today's vinaigrette, I'm going to use olive oil. And when it comes to the acidic or the, the, the vinegar base, I'm going to use balsamic vinegar. I'm also actually going to add a dash of lemon juice because I find that it kind of opens up the vinaigrette and makes it taste a little bit uh, less heavy. For today's recipe, I'm making a recipe that will suit about four people for a, a salad that's lightly dressed. You want about three parts of oil to one part of vinegar. I'm using three tablespoons of oil to one tablespoon of vinegar. Oils all have the same amount of calories. You're talking, you know, about 120 calories per tablespoon of oil. If you want a vinaigrette that has fewer calories, you could always change up that ratio a little bit and add perhaps two units of oil to, to one unit of vinegar. It really depends on what you like, what you enjoy. So I have my three tablespoons of olive oil here. I have my one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. And I'm going to add my half a teaspoon of lemon juice. In order to really bring out some flavors that I enjoy in a vinaigrette, I love to add garlic. So I've just grated maybe half of my clove. Another flavor enhancer that I absolutely love is mustard. For this recipe, I'm going to add about a teaspoon. So one of the best things when it comes to vinaigrettes is you want to really be able to whisk your vinaigrette together. You want to emulsify together the fat from the oil and the water from the vinegar. I don't want to forget my seasonings, my other seasonings. Pepper. I tend to add maybe an eighth of a teaspoon. You're going to want to add salt depending on your, on your needs. Some people are on a low salt diet. You might want to leave it out at this point, but I'm talking maybe a pinch of salt maybe a sixteenth of a teaspoon, not very much. And of course, if you have guests over, they can add salt to the salad once it's done. Mmm, delicious. I'm Lisa Rutledge, registered dietitian. Thanks for watching and have a healthy day.